What's good with Charles Cameron? Get another video straight like that. Comment down below what you want to see in the next one. Like and subscribe if you're brand new to the channel. And let's hop straight into the video, man. So listen, this is how you tell if a girl is interested in you. It's very, very easy. I'm going to give you all the things to look out for, bro. Understand this first. Women think differently than men do. As a man, we kind of think like, Okay, I'm going to approach this woman, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to tell her how I feel. I'm going to tell her I like her. I'm going I'm to ask for her number, and that's going to be that. You know what I mean? It's, and it's all just going to be cool, and it's going to go smooth, and it's going to go quickly. But what you have to understand is that women work differently when, than men. Yes, we're equal, but ultimately, we have different minds. We have different brains. We think differently, right? Women are typically more emotional. They're typically more submissive than men are. They're not the dominant, assertive ones, okay? So because they think differently, it's not going to be that smooth, you know what I mean? Okay, let me just go get his number and then whatever, whatever, whatever. That might happen sometimes, maybe once or twice out of 10 times, bro. But I'm just being honest with you right now. The girl that you like is not going to come up to you and be like, hey, I like you or hey, I'm interested. She's not going to do that. So as a man, please do not try to drop hints to girls and stuff like that because she's not going to make that first move. In fact, you waiting on a girl to make the first move might even be a turnoff to her because women love confidence. Women love dominant masculine men. And what is dominant about waiting for a woman to make the first move? What is confident about that? She's going to want you to go ahead and take that aggressor role and ask her out and approach her. That's how the game goes. That's just what it is, man. She's not going to be attracted to the guy that just sits back and wait. Let me tell you all a fun fact about myself. Personally, I have never been rejected before. But even though that sounds cool on the surface, the reason I've never been rejected before is because in my past, I was always too scared to approach the girl that I liked. I was too afraid to ask her out. I was too afraid to make a move. I was too afraid to call the approach. Even when I was getting choosing signals, I was, nah, I'm not all females. Oh, nah, I'm not really trying to talk to her, whatever, whatever. Oh, nah, I'm focused on other things. This is the thing. Yes, you're supposed to be focused on other things in life, but that doesn't mean that you completely neglect and just ignore women. If that's really what you need to do in order to get your life in order, then fine, do it. You know what I'm saying? Don't obsess over women at any point. But if a woman is attracted to you, there's no reason why you shouldn't be able to go and talk to her. You know what I'm saying? And then you fill her out. It's simple as that, man. So no more excuses, fellas. She's not going to come up to you. I'm just being honest with you. You're going to miss out on a lot that way, man. Me, like I said, I've never been rejected because I was too scared to make that first move. She's never going to come up to you. She's never just going to text you out of the blue. Trust me, I done random scenarios in my head the same way you did, bro. And I had them daydreams where like, bro, she just randomly texts me out the blue like, hey, I like you or whatever. It's never going to happen, bro, because women think differently. They're not the same as men. They're not, even if they are interested in you, bro, they're not going to make that first move. So now that we know they're not going to make that first move, now that we know women are more indirect, what does this mean? What does it look like when a girl is interested in you? It's very simple. The number one indicator to whether or not a girl likes you is choosing signals. Choosing signals is it, it's kind of self-explanatory, right? It's small little things that a girl does in order to show her attraction to you, right? Because like I said, they're indirect, so they're never going to just say it out loud, but they'll do small little things to try and get you. It's like a they're dropping hints to try and get you to come on, come on, come, come ask me out. And they can, there, there's a wide range of them. Some of them are very, very subtle and some of them are very, very obvious, right? Now let's go over some of the more obvious ones. Some of the more obvious signs that a girl is attracted to you is if she's staring at you, right? If she's staring at you and you lock eyes with her, you know what I'm saying? And then she do like a little smile or something like that. That is a very clear indicator. That is a choosing signal right there, bro. Okay. She's staring at you. That means that she, she checking you out, bro. You know what I'm saying? She, she looking, she, Checking out the merchandise, bruh. Okay, that's a very clear indicator. That, uh, that's a choosing signal right there. If you are interested in this girl, I highly, 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 highly recommend that you make the approach if you catch her looking at you constantly. And an even more obvious choosing signals if maybe she's not staring at you, but she constantly looking over you kept you keep catching her eye the whole night the whole day however however you long however long you in her vicinity bro you keep catching her looking at you then she might talk to her homegirls look at you talk to her homegirls look at you talk to her homegirls they are talking about you she's talking about you and here's the thing bro a lot of y'all is probably like oh well what if she's talking about how ugly i am bro let me tell you something girls don't talk about ugly dudes 
They do not. They 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 not gonna circle up and be like, look, look how ugly that dude is. Ha 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 ha. Why 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 do that? They don't waste time doing that. Girls talk about guys that they deem attractive. Okay. The only thing that might go wrong is if they think that you're creepy. But as long as you're not a creepy dude and you got yourself together and you just and you just regular and you you you're not looking like a like a like a super senior at a high school, then you probably not being talked about in a creepy way. They probably like, oh yeah, he fine, girl, he fine, whatever. You know what I'm saying? So if you keep catching her looking at you, that is a very obvious signal, very obvious sign to go ahead and make that approach, fellas. All right. Now, again, choosing signals can be very, very subtle as well. It can be as subtle as a follow on Instagram. It could be as subtle as literally just like a quick glance at you. And that is a girl's way of shooting her shot, ultimately, fellas. That's just what it is, man. She's never going to shoot her shot straight up. What she will do is small, small little things. And, and to be quite honest with you, the more attractive she is, the higher ego that she has, the more subtle the choosing signal will probably be. Why? Because she doesn't want to come across as thirsty, right? Because we know that girls with high levels of ego, they don't want to be... They, they, they want to be chased after, right? They don't want to come across as, oh, I was thirsty for this guy. They always want to make it seem like it was your idea to approach, right? And that brings me to my next thing. The problem with choosing signals is this. Yes, it is one of the number one indicators about attractiveness. However, choosing signals can also be a bad thing. Understand this. Girls understand what they're doing when they're giving out choosing signals, especially when they're very obvious. They know exactly what they're doing. They know that they are they are basically telling you indirectly, approach me, approach me. But they don't always have the best intentions, fellas. They don't always have the best intentions because sometimes they can be like, approach me, approach me. And whole time, they don't really find you attractive. All they want is attention, okay? You got to watch out. For the attention seekers, fellas, because the attention seekers, all they're going to do is drain your energy. They're going to drain you for those compliments. They're going to drain you for all of that and not even really mess with you in the end. You're still going to end up getting rejected. Fellas, this is why you have to be careful with choosing signals, because not every single choosing signal is going to be a good one. I promise you that. Another thing, too, is this. What you have to understand is that choosing signals are not just limited to women that are single, bro. This is exactly why you have to look out for the type of woman that you're attracting. Because if you attract the wrong woman and you end up in a relationship with the wrong woman, understand that your girl, there's a good chance that she's still giving out choosing signals. I don't know how many times I have many, many friends that be talking about, oh, this girl, you know what I mean? She's in a relationship, but she told me that she's unhappy in her relationship. I've seen, I've, but listen, bro, listen, bro. I might be young, but I've seen it, bro. I've seen it. Women that are in relationships for long periods of time telling other men, I'm unhappy. Telling other men, I don't really know how I feel in this relationship. And see, the thing is, yes, it is true that it could be cap. It could be a lie because you never want to look at what she says. You always want to look at her actions. But whether it's true or a lie does not matter. Because if a woman is ever projecting that she's unhappy in a relationship or unhappy in a situation, what she's doing is sending a signal right there to say, yo, I would be happier with you. Choosing signal, choosing signal, I'm interested in you. Because why would she tell you that unless she wanted you to at least chase her? Now, again, you have to be careful with this one, especially because especially women in relationships, they'll do this type of thing. They'll give guys that they find attractive hope so that they, they do chase. And when you do chase them, they get that rush. Understand that getting attention for a female is like a rush, bro. When they do that, it's like, oh, my gosh, like he's chasing me. You know what I'm saying? It's almost like I feel alive again. She's probably doing that because she's bored in her relationship and she's looking for something to spice it up. Her boyfriend is not chasing her the same way that he used to and she is used to having multiple guys chase after her because she's not really solid in who she is she's not really a solid woman she's one of the 80 percenters so therefore she wants you to chase she wants you to compliment she wants you to validate and all this other stuff you have to watch out for that i promise you that girl is probably not gonna allow you to she's not gonna leave her boyfriend for you bro she's not going to dog all you gotta do is just lay back and just let that situation rock out. So again, if a girl in a relationship is giving you choosing signals and is telling you things, telling you problems about her relationship, nine times out of 10, bro, do not engage. Now I know what you're thinking, but Cam, it's a chance that this can happen. It's a chance that that can happen. Yes, there might be, but you have to really step, take a step back and think, 
Is it really worth it? Is it really worth it to sleep with this woman that's 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 unloyal and unfaithful to her man? What will you really gain from that? What will you really gain from that? What kind of person would you even be if you did that? You know what I'm saying? If you if you know that she cheating, what kind of person are you? And then that what, what does that say about you when you get into a relationship? What if your girl did that to you? What goes around comes around, bro. Be very careful with those type of women, man. Now, the next thing, bro, what y'all have to understand is that when a girl likes you, bro, she will make it extremely, extremely easy for you to talk to her. And this can be like, like the way that this manifests is when you are talking to her, a lot of guys, they get into moments where it's awkward situations where you don't know what to talk about. You don't know what to come up with. It's like uh, 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 uh. a girl that likes you, bro. She will help facilitate and carry the conversation, bro. If you ever feel that you are carrying the conversation, whether that be over text or whether that be in person, it does not matter. A reason it doesn't matter is because it's all the same thing. She's going to put in effort so that it is easy for you to talk to her because if she's interested in you, then she obviously wants you to continue talking to her. So she's not going to make the conversation dry. She's going to make it wet. She's going to make it an interesting conversation. Okay, it's very simple. She's going to make it easy so that you can go ahead and make that move, bro. Another way that she's going to make it easy is that she's always, always, always going to be in your vicinity. Okay, you won't have to worry about, oh, when am I going to see her again? When am I, when are we ever going to link up again, bro? You won't have to worry about that because she's always going to make herself available to you. Maybe she won't be able to be around you all the time, but she'll make herself available to you in that maybe she'll start sending you some memes or whatever. You know what I'm saying? She might at you on her story or, or, or she might leave a note that's related to you or whatever. She will find a way. She will put in that work. She will put in that effort and she will find a way to get close to you, get around you, get you to make that approach because that is ultimately her main goal. That is what she wants out of you. She wants you to chase. She wants you to make that first move. Now, understanding, let, let, let's really go over it. So we know that women are indirect and we know that uh, uh, they like you if they show you choosing signals and if they make things easy on you. But the thing is, you probably sitting there asking, well, how do we know if it's real choosing signals or if she just wants my attention? This right here is why you have to watch how a woman moves, bro. You have to be more observant. You cannot allow choosing signals and interest from a woman to blind you from the fact that they could be on cap. This is why you have to lay back and this is why you have to take your time before making the decision to mess with a woman, okay? And what I mean by that is take a look at her past. And when I say her past, maybe ask around. What are her homies saying about her? What is her reputation, right? Because your reputation is, 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 is everything almost, you know what I'm saying? At least on an earthly level, your reputation means things. So when you have a girl that has a reputation of doing things that are attention grabbing, then you already know that this girl is probably just trying to grab your attention. Look at her past. You know what I'm saying? Look at the way that she moves. Look at the way that she acts. You could A girl that really just wants your attention, bro, she'll probably be doing the utmost craziest things. Or she might say she might be more forward than a girl that actually likes you, right? Because if a girl actually likes you, then she probably has some nerves going. She She's probably a little bit nervous around you. She probably doesn't want to say the wrong thing. So she's not just going to be super duper forward. A girl that's super duper forward with you. And when I say super duper forward, maybe she's like hypersexual or like maybe she's just really feeling on you and touching on you, all that stuff. Those could be signs of interest, but nine times out of 10, that's done so that she can get attention out of you and make you feel some type of way because that's really what she's trying to do. Women understand the game. They understand that if they can make you feel some type of way as a man because you've been so deprived of female uh, female attention, all she has to do is make you feel some type of way and then pull back and she'll get all the attention that she needs, bro. Understand that. So you have to look out for these little, little things. You have to look at her reputation and look at the way she acts. If she's too forward, then you know that it's a wrap, bro. You know what I'm saying? She's going to reserve herself a little bit just a little bit for the guy that she actually likes she's not gonna act like an hoe she's actually interested in you no she's gonna act like a feminine woman she's gonna be more submissive which brings me to the last point right a girl that is interested in you will act more aloof the reason she will act more aloof is because acting aloof is a form of submission. Understand that a woman, she wants to submit to the dominating God, to the to the to the to the masculine man. OK, she wants to be taken care of. OK, so subconsciously, when she gets around you, she's probably going to be a little bit more aloof. Bro. She's probably going to act and not and I'm not necessarily saying that she's going to act dumb. You know what I'm saying? But she may act a little bit silly. She may, you know what I'm saying? Just just act a little bit more, more 
uh, let's say she might just be more relaxed. You know what I'm saying? She might be a little bit goofy, but not not in a way that's like super duper friendly. You know what I'm saying? It'll be in like that nervous, not nervous, but like a feminine, submissive way. You got to really see what I'm talking about to understand it. But ultimately, the best way I can describe it is she's going to act a little bit aloof because it's a way of showing submission to you. Right now, like I said, if she's too, too forward with it and she's like acting just way too goofy, then it's probably because she's seeking attention. But if it's just a little bit of aloofness, bro, then it's probably because she's reserving herself because she don't want to come across as dumb. She don't want to come across as like, you know, what I'm saying just 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 being a complete immature child but she's gonna have a little bit of aloofness to her you know what i'm saying because she wants to submit to you as a guy if she's actually interested in you man all right so knowing this let's summarize it chosen signals aloofness she'll make it easy on you but make sure that you watch out for all this stuff you want to attract the right woman and you want to make sure you're not falling for the trap of form uh, 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 of chasing an attention seeking woman all right because that's gonna just end up you 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 gonna end up down a road that you don't want to go down bro so with that being said i love y'all hope y'all took something from this video i'm out of here man peace